Hi, Mr. Carabinas here. Uh, going to do our third 360 report to tell you guys what's going on around Oxford Street hallways. First off, an update from last week. Well, from last week with the Chromebooks, we are pretty much set, yep. one to one, ready to roll out. Um, we're educating the kids in the classroom on proper use of technology and how to um, correctly use the Chromebooks and care for them. Um, next up, we only had we had two and a half days off this week, so it's a very very quick report. Um, not a ton going on, but tomorrow we have a community community based field trip going to bounce you with Miss Snesler's class. Um, but more importantly, we are going to make the connection to Dr. Seuss with Port and Here's a Who, the Lorax, Sneeches, and maybe Yertle the Turtle and more, which was an eighth grade project. Girls, take it away. Hi, I am Vanessa Demtek, an 8th grader, and as part of the high schoolers' Seussical Outreach Project, the 8th grade explored historical connections in Dr. Seuss books. Some of these events and topics are things we studied this year in social studies. I'm Kayla Renzo, I'm also an 8th grader, and some of the books that we did were The Lorax, and um, The Lorax was about the environment and how pe the Lorax stood for the environmental environmentalists who were uh, talking about how the world can end up if we keep cutting down the trees. And logging companies actually wrote a book about it against the Lorax called The Troughs and they talked about how they, and they banned the Lorax all around logging companies because it ruined their business. Um, I'm Daisy Kula, I'm also an 8th grader. And um, we related the Sneetches to racism. And um, in the book, there was a character named, let me check. Mr. Something. McBean. And he made the Sneetches with plain bellies pay to get stars on their belly so they were all equal. And then once that happened, the original star belly Sneetches kind of got like an attitude about it and then they wanted to become plain belly so eventually after like cycling through all this everyone became civilized and equal just like we are today and um it kind of relates to trans like nowadays where it's not really about what's like underneath people just base you off of what you look like on the outside good great job I'm Mrs. Zekas, and Mrs. Gately and myself worked on this with the eighth graders, and we were able to bring in the high school for the final projects, and they were amazing. Everyone did a great job relating the themes to issues today, to historical issues, and if anyone would like to see any of the presentations, contact me, and I will send you a copy. Up there with girls, the whole class did a phenomenal job connecting it to a historical Point, and I think he impressed the high schoolers the most because mm -hmm. these are kids who were in the play who were like I played that character and I didn't get that mm -hmm. but it was, you guys did a fantastic job teachers very nice job um, next week we'll have more to report when hopefully we're here five days thank you very much and have a great weekend